We're here at Smith Music talking to Paul Smith about a new free feature that he has on social media, Song of the Day. Paul, what prompted you to do this? So I wanted to be able to find a way to continue to, you know, kind of keep giving back some music lessons to the community. And we've done some live streams uh, from March uh, to June. And I wanted to be able to do popular songs like R&B and pop songs uh, that, and get a lot of music out. So we're doing you know, a song a week at least. And, uh, you know, we've done some Miley Cyrus and uh, uh, Drake and various things like that. Don't even necessarily have guitar in them. So you're teaching guitar for songs that don't even have guitar in them and this works because musical notes are musical notes so yeah you're right a note is a note is a note and you can play a c chord on piano and you can play a c chord on guitar and uh the drake song that we did had a synth brass patch that they were using which would have been played on keyboard and we can play the same chord on guitar. And there is more guitar kind of creeping into pop music, which is nice to see again. I've even gotten to figure out a song with a guitar solo in it lately. Because these are brand new songs coming out that day, you haven't had an opportunity to hear them or rehearse them. So you're having to hear the song, learn the song, and then translate that into teaching the song in a very quick turnaround. Walk us through the process of how that works. Yeah, so the process is um, basically come into the studio, look on uh, Billboard Top 100 and Apple and Spotify and see what's the newest song. We we'll listen to the song and then learn it from figuring it out uh, that way, which to a lot of people that haven't seen that done, it looks kind of magical, but uh, it's something I do every day in my job. And then we write out the tablature and record the video and the whole process takes about an hour and a half. And we can have the song that was released today out within four hours usually of the song actually hitting the airwaves. So are these strictly going to be new songs and will there be songs of different varying skill levels? So it's going to be a mixture of skill levels and new and classic songs. Uh, there's lots of cool uh, classic country stuff that I want to do and uh, um, classic rock, that kind of thing. And sometimes I'm doing uh, a simplified version and a more intermediate version of the songs. And sometimes it's just more simple because it was a song that lends itself to being played more simply. So it is both of those levels. And you can check out the video. I say it right at the beginning, whether it's for an intermediate or beginner. So when and where can people expect to see the song of the day? So you can definitely see the song every Tuesday uh, and then there'll be other releases as well. So Tuesday is like the new song released that day. And typically the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are when a lot of new releases happen. Now, all of this is happening online and with COVID-19 shutdown, we've all had to step up our tech game a little bit. Your game is tech and we're standing here by your uh, recording suite that you use for online classes and live streaming. Um, talk to me about how that setup worked. Yeah, so as uh, COVID unfolded, I wanted to be able to give students the most uh, in-person experience possible. So with our setup, we have um, five camera views, including the laptop that shows the tablature. And when you follow the uh, um, videos that have these song of the day, this is the setup that we record them on just like we do when we're teaching. So you can see the close-up of my hands, you can see the tablature, and then you can see the headshot and the kind of the wide shot. And it's to give that most in-person experience. So with the school open again for uh, another season of music lessons, you're doing a mixture of in-person, face-to-face classes here at the school, but you're also doing online classes as well. Let's talk about the in-person, face-to-face classes. What measures are you taking to make all the students feel safe while still learning uh, to play efficiently? Yeah, so our policy is to do what AHS is recommending and then more if where we can. So. Uh, people are wearing masks so they, as they come into the studio. We are allowing people to take masks off in lessons, but we have plexiglass that we can put between the teacher and the student, and the plexiglass is movable, so if it's a drum student, you move it there. If it's a piano student, you move it between you there. And um, uh, we can, we've can we made our teaching rooms bigger, 50% bigger, so that we can get at least six feet uh, between teacher and student. And uh, most people are coming back to uh, live lessons. And, um, uh, and people are feeling safe and it's, it's working actually better than I had hoped. We were, uh, like everyone else, nervous about it, 
but I'm actually feeling really good now that we've been through a week of this uh, to see how it's working. So with some of, the, uh, some of the students preferring to continue with online lessons, did that come as a surprise to you or to the students or their parents? It wasn't a surprise to me. I knew that definitely there would be a portion of people wanting to continue on with live lessons. And some people it actually works better because they don't have to commute and come in to uh, uh, drive for a half hour to have a half hour lesson and drive a half hour home. And But the other thing is the system is made to be flexible. So a student that wants to come in and have live lessons, let's say for example, they were um, uh, you know around somebody that had COVID at school and they didn't know if they should come in, they can just come into our virtual waiting rooms. Each teacher has their own ID and we, the students have that information. So they don't even have to tell us if we don't see them in our real waiting room, we check our virtual waiting room and they can do their lesson there for that week. Good stuff, Paul. I'd uh, shake your hand, but we have to do the socially distanced elbow Thanks, rub. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. I also want to thank the Moore Mill and District Chamber of Commerce for sponsoring It's Your Business, our segment where we talk to local businesses about what they do and how they do it. <music>